it's known. Welcome to the homestead as I am making myself coffee and going through the chaos with the kids and sending them to school. I am going over the things I have to do today, which is sowing onion seeds. And if I have time, um, I would like to sow microgreens. Before so. I get started uh, sowing my onions, we I am uh, at the, I'm closer to 10 weeks before my last frost. And normally you sow your onions ideally between eight to 10 weeks before your last frost. You can go up to 12 weeks before your last frost if you want those big humongous onion bulbs. So I am in the 10 week, I'm like 10 weeks, couple of days mark. So I am ready to sow my seeds and I will gather my material and I'll show you my setup. Okay, so I took out my 72 plug tray. I have a bottom tray. Uh, I'm using a microgreen tray because this one does not fit in my regular uh, 10 by 20 flats. I have no idea why, so this is why I'm gonna use um, a microgreen tray. So it's. I'm just gonna fill uh, this um, cell tray up. And then I'll show you how I sew my seal seats. And I chose a 72 plug tray uh, because I want to be able to control more um, my onion, onion, onion setup this year. So basically, I used to order uh, onion sets and buy onion seedlings at the nursery. And uh, for me, it was too long to sow seedlings. I preferred sowing um, sets because the separating of the seeds was way too long for me, too time consuming. So then after hours of research on the web and following a um, tutorial online, I found that with plug trays, you can sow a couple of seeds in here and then just take this, sow it in the garden six inches apart. So this is what I'll be doing this year to uh, experiment onions from seed. So let's do this. You know you have kids when you find spoon in your soil. My soil is in a big container. It's a 60 liter container, 64 to be precise. And I dumped my potting mix, I mean my seed starting mix in here and I added, uh, I would say, not warm water, but comfortable, warm enough water. And I got it to this consistency, like you hold it together and it stays. And when you squeeze it, it doesn't, there's no water that falls here on your hand like it holds together this is the consistency i prefer sowing my seeds in there okay so i'll show you a couple of tricks to get it everywhere and not on your floor but in your plug trays Okay, this is something really important. Air pockets in your trays. You need to give it a couple of bangs and you're gonna see here, some of the plugs are not full. So that's why it's important to tap a couple of times to make sure that there's no air pockets because air pocket means your root system won't, won't be healthy. Okay, so I'll finish that up and I'll bring you on my seating table. So now we have our 
blood tray, we have our soil, and we're gonna need a couple more things. So we're gonna need, whoop, this one's already <laughs> used. So we're gonna need a certain type of marker. You can use practically anything you have. Uh, Sharpie, I am trying a garden marker, which is supposed to be for outdoor usage, and this will not fit out. So this is an experiment this year. This is called a garden marker. I got it at Lee Valley online and uh, you will obviously need some seeds. Uh, I will be seeding. I'm going to go with Walla Walla onions. So I'm just going to. So what am I going to write on that marker is I'm going to write the Walla Walla. And I'm going to write today's date. And I will be putting four to five seeds per cell. Oh, <laughs> put it back in there. Okay, so my plug trays are filled about three quarters up. So there's about a quarter of an inch left so I can top dress with some soil when I'm done and top water. So let's do this. So the seeds are pretty small. One, two, three. Okay, don't don't pick on yourself if five falls, but I'm gonna plant them about four or five, try to space them as best as I can. From there, I will tap on the seeds to make sure they are in good contact with the soil. And this is where I'm going to add some soil to cover the seeds. About of a quarter of an inch. and I will water it. After all of that, that is done. So you're gonna fill out four seeds, four or five seeds per, per hole. You're gonna sow your entire, um, flat or your 72 plug trays and then the most important thing is you put it on a, a heat mat they will germinate faster better and your germination rates will be better with a heat mat and um 10 days about 10 days with optimal condition within about 10 days they will emerge so this is how i am sowing my seeds for this year's garden Thanks for popping in and uh, sowing some seeds with me. Um, I finished off camera sowing the rest of my seeds, uh, from my onion seeds. I also had the chance of sowing my microgreens. I will show you my setup in a couple of seconds. Uh, so I also sowed a couple of celery seeds. I had some pink, some whites, and some conventional Utah. Um, I also sowed some yellow onions. I have some leeks. Uh, two types of leeks. What is 120 days? The other is 65 days. I want to spread out my onions and my leeks season. So I and also wanted to grow big onions. I saw on Instagram someone grow humongous. Those are called El Sacreg onions. I really <laughs> so I sowed a couple of those so I can try it. So that's pretty much it. I will show you my uh, microgreen setup. Right now they are on a heat mat and um, 
I didn't have a weight, so I just put a couple of plates, but I'll show you. For the microgreens, I went with daikon radish uh, from the, what I'm reading on the package, it says that within five days, I should be having food. I cannot wait to test that theory. I really, really want fresh food from, well, not the garden the shelves, but close enough. I know spring is around the corner, but I, this will actually rise my spirit. So have yourself a wonderful day, and thanks again for tagging along my homesteading journey.